Hey guys, so today's video is a Sephora haul. These are all the things that I got during the VIB sale, which is 15% off, um, which happens every April. So I got about half of the products are skincare, the other half are makeup related, and I'm going to jump right in to the skincare part. So first is by Fresh. This is the Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream with Se uh, Super 7 Complex, and this is the bigger container of it. Um, I really love this cream. It's definitely one of my favorite kind of department store creams that you can buy. I used to use this as my daytime uh, cream for probably over a year and I just decided I wanted to start trying other products. I still really love my Tammy Fender antioxidant cream but um, I just kind of decided I missed this and I wanted to go back to using it or uh, putting it into my daytime skincare routine, probably like trading off using this one day, this one day at the Tammy Fender the other day. Um, but yeah, I really love it, and it's the a fraction, about half of what the Tammy Fender cream is, so it will kind of save me some money, I guess, in the long run. Um, and then I picked up the Murad Essential C Toner. I love that it's in a little spray bottle because I'm a very lazy toner user. I have been really liking my, uh, was it the Pixie Skincare? glycolic toner um, in the little pads. I like using that at night so I want to start trying to use something in the daytime so uh, I thought I would give this a whirl. Um, it's supposed to help I think with like uh, free radicals so that's why I decided I thought it would be better during the day since I'm kind of out in the pollution a little bit more than obviously at night. Um, and then I got two products by Bosha which is totally one of my favorite 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 skincare lines um, at Sephora, not at Sephora, I just, I love it so much. So I got the Saki Brightening Hydrogel Eye Masks and the Saki Brightening Hydrogel Mask. I, I love these kind of sheet masks. I love under eye patches, definitely in the anti-aging realm. I think I'm starting to see a little bit around my eyes, a little bit of droopiness. So I will, uh, definitely give these a whirl very soon. And the other mask that I picked up is by Dr. Jart. This is a new mask. This is the rubber mask uh, for hydration lovers. And I love that just like even wearing a sheet mask around the house is very kind of creepy. So I feel like this is going to take it to a whole nother level. Um, just like the packaging alone is pretty jarring and uh, definitely catches your attention. So that's really good marketing. But um, I'm not really even sure how these work. Um, this is a, it's a one-time use use mask and it was $12 so kind of pricey. Um, it comes in different uh, variations like one for firming and I think for like problem skin but I have drier skin so I went with the one with hydration and I think this one had the best reviews out of all of them um, and I guess it's like a two-parter so you start with putting this on your face and then I guess you cover it with the mask. I'm not really sure but um, I'm definitely excited to try that out uh, hopefully soon. Um, I'm flying next weekend, so that'll probably be a really good one to use after after being in an airplane. So I'll try that out and let you guys know how it works out. Um, oh, and then the last skincare product, this is um, one of the 500 point perks. This is by Dr. Brandt, uh, Polish and Plump. So it comes with the microdermabrasion exfoliant, a pore dermabrasion, which I'm not really sure the difference between those two, the Needles No More, a wrinkle soothing cream, and the 3D filler mask, which I've really wanted to try that the most, just because I've heard a lot of really good reviews on it, and it's supposed to just be kind of, I guess it's like a temporary line filler, and um, I'm going to try this out very soon, because if you go on the Dr. Brandt website, not through Sephora, just like their own website. This 3D mask is um, almost 50% off. It's normally $98, which is another reason I've never truly committed to buying it, and it's on sale for $52. And then they always have, I mean, I don't know if always, but I've seen it pretty frequent that through their website you can use coupon codes between like 35 and like 45% off. Um, so I guess if I like any of these other products, I can see if they're on sale too, but I'm really excited to try that out. Usually I shouldn't say usually, pretty much as of late, I feel like all of Sephora's like point perks have all been really crappy. So finally, I guess there's like a decent one. 
Okay, um, and then moving on to the makeup products. Um, I'll start with this. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I picked this up in the color Light One Chantilly. Chantilly? Chantilly. Um, I think this is the lightest shade that they have. Um, I've had different shades of this before, but right now I'm like super pale. So, um, and I wanted a little bit more brightening under my eye. Again, going back to what I just said, I feel like in the aging department, it's starting to kind of show up under my eyes. So, I have it on today. And it's just, it's again, it's really creamy. I think it dries pretty quickly. I don't have too much creasing problems. And um, I don't know, I just, I really love the formula. I think they're really great. They have a I great got from Laura range. Mercier, this is the Invisible Loose Setting Powder. Um, and this is in the shade Universal. So I know the translucent powder is like all the rage. That's what's like the really popular Laura Mercier powder. And it's more of a, um, skin tone or like a light peach kind of color to it. Whereas this one um, in Universal, it's clear and it looks like that. Um, and it, this one is free of talc, um, which the other one is not. And I just, I don't like that there's, I just read articles about talc one and two um, talc does irritate my skin so i'm excited to give this a try um hopefully i'm wanting to definitely use it for an under eye setting powder but if i can um set probably my face with it too that'll be an extra bonus um hopefully it doesn't look cakey or anything again i haven't tried this yet but um, i've really been loving these cover fx custom cover drops with the oil that i picked up um but it does obviously it leaves you a little bit with that dewy almost oily finish so um, obviously it's getting hot out so um, it'd be good to be able to set that all right and then I got by Lancome this is the gel cream waterproof oh that's why I couldn't read it because I don't think that's English okay a waterproof eyebrow gel cream and I know a lot of people love all the Anastasia products which I do too but uh, for the color um, Lancome has just like spot on match my eyebrows um so this is in the color taupe and i've already tested this out but my brows kind of it has that ashiness to it that leans towards a little bit of a gray um so that's what that looks like um but i've really been liking it just because i've tried in the past i've gotten um i think medium brown soft brown and blonde from anastasia and they just don't like check all the boxes you know it's just something that's a little bit off so then by rms beauty this is the contour bronze and i'm wearing this today and i must say i have i've liked it so far so i've been wanting to get into more cream products since i have drier skin and just for that more all natural kind of look so i decided to pick this up i was a little nervous because it does have like that kind of almost glitter to it so it does like the glitter does not transfer ice like onto the skin it does have a sheet though so if you have a lot of acne or even scarring i suppose on your cheeks i would probably stay away from this just because sheen and glitter that's that accentuates your pores and any spots you have so um it's definitely very light and natural it's nothing too stark um Again, I have it on today. I also have a powder over it though to lock it in, but probably on an everyday basis, I wouldn't necessarily do that, but um, it's definitely really pretty and very, very easy to work with, which is a plus. Very easy to blend out, sheer out, um, just it's very nice. And it has more of that darkness to it where it is more of a true contour versus more of a bronze that has an orangey undertone to it does not have an orangey undertone to it at all so really nice and then from milk makeup which i feel like is just I, it's been around for a while but i feel like people are just talking about it a whole lot more right now but um i got one of their lip and cheek sticks and i got it in the color quickie which is the darkest color in their range but um don't be scared of it because it's very sheer oh my god how do you get it out kebabs all right well that broke into the cap so that's no good but it's okay I'll just probably use my beauty blender to pop it on anyway so that's cool mm -hmm. all right 
so this is what it looks like sheared out which just gives your cheeks a very um pretty healthy flush look um kind of pissed off that that broke not gonna lie me yeah. all right i'll play around with that later but again it's like a nice stain and I, you can use these for your your lips too i don't know if i would really do that i don't know i know a lot of these cream products you can use on your cheeks and your lips but i'm more of a either or kind of person i don't really like doubling that up okay and then two products from wander beauty so first one i've already tried this too this is the slide liner automatic gel eyeliner and this is in the color tan line i think um but it's just a bronze color which that's so that is what it looks like and i've worn this already and it stays put like this stuff does not budge even in your waterline so i know they have a black in this too and once my nars uh long lasting eyeliner runs out which is another really good long lasting eyeliner i think i'm going to buy the black in this because i think i like it more than the nars it's just that good so um i tried that one already and then i also got the secret weapon pencil which oh, i don't know why they make these boxes so goddamn hard to open okay um so this is just the nude color and i got this to pop in my waterline just to kind of brighten up my eye you can really not see that because it blends in with my pale pale skin but um again i hope this is as waterproof and long lasting as the other one i don't see why it wouldn't be and i've just i've never found a really good flesh color eyeliner to pop in my waterline so i hope this is really awesome since i see so many people do it but i've just honestly never tried that so all right and then the last two products i think this is it yeah, last two products are both brushes. The first one is by Makeup Forever. This is the 216 brush. It is just a nice kind of smudgy eye pencil brush. I think it's called something like medium pointer shader brush or something like that. But I just thought it'd be nice to kind of use for a outer V, kind of like a darker color and blend that out. Nothing too fancy. Um, and then this brush... I'm like taken aback about how cool this is. So this is a brand new brush by the Sephora Pro Sculpting line. This is the Sculpting Blush brush, number 99. And I love all the Sephora collection packaging for their brushes. They really protect them. And I keep a lot of them in their cases so they keep their shape. Um, but so this is what this one looks like. One, it's super fluffy and soft, but I love that it has that pointed edge but it also has like a fatness to it right here. It's just a really, really nice shape. Um, I can't decide how I wanna use it. I initially bought it to use with the Contour Bronze by RMS, just cause I thought that would really fit in that um, cheekbone area right there. But then I just, I, I always buy a bunch of blush brushes and I never have one that I'm like blown away with. So then I started thinking, oh, this would be a really nice blush brush too. But, um, I just I hate using like cross using brushes which is probably why I have so many of them but just to like dip it in a cream and then dip it in a powder I don't really know if I like that too much so um, I might eventually buy two just so each one has its own purpose I suppose but um, just a really nice brush I love the Sephora right, collection so everything brush, that I brush. picked up during the Sephora VIB sale if you guys picked up anything I'd love to hear it in the comments down below uh, until next time don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one Bye.